When our next entrepreneurs to enter the den moved to London from Italy, they found navigating their way through the city traffic a pretty hairy experience, which gave them an idea for a product which they've since brought to market. We are a good team, we have business skills, we have technical skills, we have everything we need to set the product in place, so let's do it. Well, you're making me go dizzy, I don't know about you. <laughs> Hello Dragons, my name is Agostino Stilli. This is my business partner, Luca Maduzzi. We are here today looking for an investment of 45,000 pounds in return of 5% of equity in our company, Cycle. We are here today to present you wing lights. Wing lights are a direction indicator for bicycles that flash amber on the side of your handlebar. They are designed to make sure that you are noticed when it's most needed, when turning and changing lane. With a single tap, they emit a bright LED light they are extremely easy to fit. Once the mounter is in position, the wing lights snap on in second. And when you secure your bike, they snap off. We entered the market in July 2015, and nowadays we already sold more than 8,000 units. In the past eight months, we distributed in 14 different countries around the world. Together with the premium magnetic version, we are already commercializing a fixed version, and we are planning to launch two new versions in the upcoming months. Thank you very much for your attention. We welcome now any questions you may have, and we are passing now some samples around so you can get your hands on our product. Looking to work in tandem with a dragon are Agostino Stili and his business partner Luca Amaduzzi. We have a few different colors. They want to kickstart expansion of their business with a £45,000 investment. In return, they're offering 5% of their company. Peter Jones wants them to shed more light on the product in question. The two versions, what, can you just quickly describe, so what are the two different versions again? Yeah, so basically you have the magnetic version that is in your hands now, you have a mounter that stays always on the bike, and then you have the keyring with the two lights assembled on it. You can detach the two lights from the keyring, like this, okay? And is this something you're doing both full-time now? Uh, yes, Agostino is also finishing a PhD in robotics, part-time. Yeah, okay. so that's my last year. And give me an, an idea, you've sold them, what's the revenue, what's the gross margin, and what, what money have you got left over? <laughs> As a revenue is £136,000, uh, with a gross profit of £96,000. On the net profit, at this stage, we broke even. With a neatly designed product and a business that's in the black, the entrepreneurs are off to a good start. But Deborah Meaden wants to illuminate a potential fly in the ointment. Right at the beginning, you've got a lot about you and about your pitch. You can see this has got Italian design written all over it because it's beautiful. You know, it feels nice, it looks good. Um, my, my objection to this would be um, it's visibility because actually when you were riding in circles there were quite a lot of time when I couldn't see that light and At the moment, you know good old-fashioned put your arm out. Well, actually that's very clear If you start relying on something that has less visibility for me It feels like it might actually make it less safe rather than more safe. Oh. I would say, Deborah, De I'm a cyclist, Deborah's the person who will knock me off my bicycle. Yes. So she's looking at it from the perspective of a driver looking at this, and I'm looking at it from the perspective of me riding a bike. And, and actually, the, the question of having it on the handlebars, it's the widest part of the bike. And if, uh, you have it, if you have it on the back, you have to have a stalk coming out left and right. That's lovely, Nick. To Thanks for answering their question, but can I direct my questions to them? I thought they'd answer it. Sorry, no, sorry, sorry. They haven't even paused for breath. No, they haven't answered it. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, so, sorry. So, so that's my objection. I'm glad Nick interjected because that's my worry that people will think that they're covered because their light is here. Mm. But actually, I, as a driver, I can't see you. 
Uh, there are other indicators in the market. Um, mostly they are placed just here. Yes. Hours give an all-around visibility and you are always sure that when you turn it on, it turns on because you actually see it. Is there another thing here? It's, I mean, the wing light, is it also for the slimmer person? The, the slimmer person? I'll show you what I mean. Can you see behind me? This is uh, kind of the m smallest handlebar you can find. But it's from behind that's the problem, isn't it? It's not in front of... No, can't see you. If your right indicator was on now, I couldn't see it. Can you I not can see? No. I can see the right, so but I can't see bigger, the left. If you're like them bigger like me, it doesn't work. Tuka, can you see me? I can see you. Can you see both lights? I can definitely see you. Can you see both lights? Yes, I can see both lights. A den divided over the visibility of the lights. But for Sarah Willingham, seeing them is only half of the problem. I'm struggling with it a little bit. Because I'm so used to things flashing on a bike, I don't know that that's an indicator. That could just be a, a light. It is orange, just like all the other indicators. So from that, you should already have an int. Can I say um, I'm just a little bit more worried about cycling anywhere near Sarah um, in a car? <laughs> um, just on the count of the fact that a flashing orange light to the side of any scooter, motorbike, or it generally indicates sort of turning. Bikes at night time are covered in flashing lights. Any good cyclist... But, but not orange ones. And not this kind of flashing. According to UK law, anyhow, it's still mandatory to make a signal. So it's kind of, you see it more of as a safety, because there's no doubt that as a driver, it's... I'm not expecting a flashing light, I'm not expecting an indicator on a bike, but I am expecting them to signal to me that they're going to turn left, and it's that signal that is going to stop me running them over. That signal is not very convenient if you think how you do the signal. So when you're going to turn, it's normally do the unsignal, look behind you, reduce the control on your handlebar in the moment when you probably need to brake because you have to reduce your speed for turning. But with these kind point... of things, you can start to signal before and you can enhance the visibility of your signal system. I think it is such a big education for the drivers, actually, because we're just not there yet, to know that this means a bike is turning right or is turning less and is not just another half of two flashing lights. And I can't get past that. So I'm afraid it's not an investment for me, so I'm afraid I'm out, guys. Sarah Willingham's out. But which way is keen cyclist Nick Jenkins going to turn? Um, I, what I am really impressed with is that you started, you turned over 136,000, gross margin 96, and you've broken even. And I think that is quite rare. And, uh, and that's a pretty good indication that you're pretty backable. So I'm gonna make you, uh, I'm gonna make you an offer. So I'm gonna make you an offer of all of the money, but for 15% um, of the business. Um, but I think you've got a cracking business. Thank you. Thank you. Nick Jenkins thinks the duo are going places and he wants to join them. Now, Peter Jones is next to have his say. I think the product is exceptional. The quality and the way that you've put this together, I think is as good as I've ever seen a product. Thank you. You know, congratulations. But I do think that you are going to struggle selling and making money out of this product. I think you do have to come up with some other products as a wider range. So I'm not going to invest in you today. I'm going to say that I'm out. But I think it's exceptional what you've done, and I congratulate you of where you've got to. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll say a very strange thing. I wish you'd come in with a different product. You are incredibly backable. Um, it's a market that I'm not, I don't even cycle. So I can't convince myself. However much I sit here and try, I can't convince myself that this is one I'm gonna love, so I won't be investing. I'm out. Deborah Meaden becomes the third dragon 
to step away from a deal. Which leaves only Tuka Suleiman able to step things up a gear and rival Nick Jenkins' 15% offer. Well, I am the one who has a business connection to bicycles. You know, we have a website called Bike Soup. Bike Soup. Do you do your homework? Uh, no. Bike Soup. 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 No, I don't know. Do you do your homework on which dragon you might want to invest? Well, obviously not. Obviously not, OK. So I have a lot of experience in the retail world. I know a lot of retailers in this sector. I'm going to make you an offer. But I'm going to want more than what Nick wants. I'll give you £60,000, but I want 25%. Queen. Go for a chat. Yeah. <laughs> you you want to go and have a chat in the yeah, back? Yes. Room? Thank you for your offer. Thank you for your offer. Tuka Suleiman's bid of more money than the £45,000 the entrepreneurs were looking for has got to be tempting. <laughs> But at 25%, 20 more than the five they were offering, he's significantly devaluing the business. Will they go for the extra cash or Nick Jenkins' 15%? OK, OK. Bye. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we are considering. And Nick, would you go down to 12 and a half? Yeah, I can do 12 and a half. We got a deal. Excellent. Excellent. Thank Thanks very much. A Great. tour de force of a pitch, resulting in a £45,000 cash injection for the entrepreneurs. And a deal that mixes business with pleasure for Nick Jenkins. Oh, that's Jimmy. Well done. We really think that Nick is on our wavelength, so, yeah, I think we can really do great things together, and we're looking forward to work with him. Yeah, definitely.